it has been a year and a half since someone gunned down a Portsmouth man in a double shooting. Now, his family is questioning why the wheels of justice seem slow to turn. Lamont Brown died in September of 2022. The case got quiet because of problems with a key witness. And your size, Nick Broadway has this follow up tonight. Her son was killed a year and a half ago at a shooting in Portsmouth. Police found more than 60 bullet casings at the scene of the crime. Now the court case is at a standstill. So Joyce Brown went to the Portsmouth City Council a couple nights ago, pleading with leaders for answers and for help, saying people are hardly answering her phone calls. There's been three different Commonwealth and nobody gave me no help. Nobody answered, no phones. Nobody done nothing. Joyce Brown is seen holding a picture of her late son, Lamont. He was gunned down outside his Carver Circle home in September of 2022. A suspect, Avery Peoples, was later arrested, but now he's no longer on the jail roster. Joyce says three attorneys later, they're telling her the case cannot progress without more evidence. And I just want somebody to help me get some kind of justice for my child. And I've been begging and calling people and nobody's helping me. Lamont leaves behind twins, now in the care of their mother, spending occasional weekends with Joyce. She tells me Lamont loved his daughters. They be 10 months too, they, he was a, um, yeah, he's a happy person, a good person. At the shooting, a second person was hit, but survived. Joyce says this key witness is not cooperating with the investigation. I'm pretty sure Avis Peoples and the other boys, all of them, they know exactly who done it. They just let everybody go. Despite the evidence left behind, she's stuck without justice more than a year after losing Lamont. Well, he was gunned down like an animal in the, out there on the street. Our team reached out to the Commonwealth's Attorney Office and Portsmouth PD. We'll let you know when we hear back. Joyce Brown hopes anyone with information about what happened that night can come forward to help her get some closure with her son's death. Reporting in Portsmouth, Nick Broadway, 10 on your side.